So what is a serious violation in regards to a CDL? Hello, I'm Ty Smith, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City Area Attorney with Worth Law. And this one is going out especially to individuals that hold CDLs, commercial driving license, <clears throat> license to drive and operate CMVs, also known as commercial motor vehicles. As you may or may not be aware of, there are certain violations that will merit more than just the punishment that the state is gonna levy against you. If you say speed going 15 over, in addition to the fine and punishment the state might levy against you, you're also gonna have the feds on you because the CD a CDL is a federally regulated licensure. It's going to be, um, you're gonna have more than just the state to answer to. So I already started off with that one. Of course, speeding 15 over, that's an example of a serious violation. You also have, if you are convicted of reckless driving, if you, you have a traffic offense that results in a collision, that results in a death of someone, that's serious, obviously. Um, if you do an erratic or unsafe lane change, that's serious. If you follow too close, that's a serious one. That one is very common, actually. Um, <clears throat> If you fail to obtain or maintain a CDL, that's a serious violation. Uh, failure to physically possess it when you're pulled over, that's a serious violation. Uh, failure to have the proper class of CDL or, pro or proper endorsement, or if you are, if you <clears throat> if you have a CDL but you're driving the wrong type of commercial motor vehicle for that. Uh, for that licensure, those are serious violations. And to round it all out, if essentially if you're using a cell phone while you're operating a commercial motor vehicle, that's probably going to be a, um, a serious violation. Now, if you have a Bluetooth headset, probably not, but if you are physically using your hands to operate a phone while you are driving, that's gonna be a serious violation, okay? Now let's say you pick up one of these. What, what are you looking at? What's a potential punishment for this? Well, your first one is going to be a freebie, meaning nothing is going to happen to your licensure. You'll just have to pay the fine that the state's gonna levy against you. But you pick up a second one, within three years of that first one, there's going to be a 60 day suspension of your license. Doesn't stop there though. Let's say you pick up a third within three years. So you have three within three years of each other. You're gonna be suspended for 120 days. Now those two can't run concurrently, meaning you can't go, oh, well I spent, I, your 60 day timer can't run at the same time as your 100 day, 120 day timer. 60 days has to run, then the 120 days will start, okay? Which is why I encourage people not to just take any of these um, as, a, don't don't just because the first one's free doesn't mean that you should just take it on the chin okay you need to hire an attorney for this stuff because these are serious violations and this is seriously a threat to your livelihood so if you would like to speak to an attorney about a matter like this or really any matter involving criminal law or family law I handle those things you can find me at the Oklahoma City area or excuse me the Oklahoma City attorney.com or you can call my office at 405 888-5400, and I'd be glad to speak with you. I look forward to hearing from you, and I thank you for your time.